performing pandemic explores how the design of urban dwelling spaces and the in-between might transgress existing realities through performances in a virtual space. Entitled, New Realities for a Socially Performative Threshold, this methodology applies principles of effective pedagogy, which are critical in understanding performance as a measure of effect. Participants start within a virtual model of a London dwelling space that I occupied throughout the pandemic and that define my monotonous intramural existence in lockdown. As they enter the world, they are taught its rules through an oral narrative. Participants are introduced to transformative actions through tasks which perform the imaginary reality of the virtual environment. Objects strewn across the apartment become tools through which performative thresholds can be reimagined. This narrative explores the performance of isolation, asking the participant to reflect on the urban environment throughout lockdown, including the social aspects of balconies and other thresholds. This culminates in a task that asks the participant to design a new kind of balcony. The following presents a glimpse into these performances. Welcome. Look around you. You will see an apartment filled with everyday objects, captured at an imaginary moment. Throughout lockdown apartments like these became the permanent dwelling spaces for occupants, the limits of their movement controlled by the boundaries of a single room, enforcing intramural lifestyles. Throughout the day you wake up and work, in an endless repetitive pattern. You go now to the balcony, a threshold which offers escape from the monotony of everyday life, and a place to take a step into the social arena of the street. Once there, you look to see if any of your neighbors are joining you, but you find blank facades, a street without balconies. Firstly, you need to learn how to act within the space, to give yourself agency. Movement in these spaces often gives way to its limitations, and you resign yourself to prolonged periods of static occupancy. But this is not quite the real world. This world extends the boundaries of what is possible, and here you have the power to transform your reality. This space pushes the bounds of reality. Here you have the power to manipulate the world around you. Looking down at your feet you notice that the balcony is not as immovable as it seems. The objects which appear as everyday detritus will become your toolkit to design a space beyond what should be possible, a new kind of balcony for the urban dweller. You have been on a journey of discovery, reliving the path of the solitary urban dweller and discovering the possibilities of a new imaginary existence. What you design now is up to you. The virtual experience explores how performative actions can provoke new design concepts for dwelling spaces and balconies, and how architecture itself can act within these performative thresholds. You've reached the end of the experience, you can take off the headset now. Maybe you'll remember this reality next time you step onto a balcony.